Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is 318 times more massive than the Earth, and the gas giant is two and a half times heavier than all the other planets combined. Is it true that Jupiter can be considered the friendliest neighbor in the solar system to Earth? Without Jupiter and its gravity, we would likely have comets hitting us. How has Jupiter saved the Earth from complete destruction multiple times? Before answering this question, here are a few facts about Jupiter. Some 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system came into existence as a disk of gas and dust. The first planets to form were gas giants Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter. Jupiter was the first and the largest planet to form, attracting most of the gas and dust from the disk before forming all other planets. About 90% of Jupiter is hydrogen, and the remaining 10% is helium. The composition of Jupiter is quite similar to that of the Sun. However, Jupiter has only one one-thousandth the mass of the Sun, which means it does not have enough mass to create gravity for nuclear fusion to be considered a star. There are some astronomers who even go as far as to refer to Jupiter as a failed star. Jupiter is a giant planet located 365 million miles away from the Earth. Because of this massive distance, it appears as a small dot when viewed from the Earth's surface. How does this tiny dot protect human existence? Let us unravel the mystery. As the biggest astronomical body in our solar system, after the Sun, the pull of Jupiter's gravity has shaped the destiny of our solar system. Space experts believe the pull of Jupiter's gravity is why the Earth is habitable. It guards the Earth against external objects, specifically asteroids and comets. Long-term comets enter the solar system from outer space, and Jupiter's gravity is strong enough to grab them and alter their path. How? I must take you back in time a little bit to understand this. Albert Einstein stated that gravity is a curvature of space-time caused by massive objects. In simple terms, many heavy objects, like the Sun, cause space-time to bend around it, similar to the trampoline when a heavy ball is dropped on it. This gravitational field, or bending, causes the planets to revolve around the Sun in orbit. The same goes for Jupiter. Its gravitational field slings most of the fast-moving ice balls before they can even reach our planet. Not only that, a new model, the Grand Flung model, indicates that Jupiter might send material inwards. In doing so, the Guardian of the Earth has given the Earth one of the biggest gifts, water. Recent research shows that the presence of water, a key ingredient to sustaining life, did not end up on Earth by stroke of luck. All planets that host gas giants in their outskirts automatically have water-rich material inside them. Gaseous planets like Jupiter send hydrogen-rich material inward. Some of this material lands on the interior planets, giving them the building blocks of life. Later, this hydrogen bonds with oxygen to form water. Jupiter not only does this, but also prevents us from comets, asteroids, and meteoroids. Long-period comets, in particular, enter the solar system from its outer reaches. Jupiter, having so much mass, slings these fast-moving ice balls before they can reach the Earth's surface. In simpler words, we can say that the gravitational field of Jupiter changes the path of meteoroids, asteroids, and comets. Eventually, it sends them out of the solar system. Without the presence of Jupiter, these external objects would collide with our planet. We all know how dangerous an asteroid's impact is. About 65 million years ago, it caused the extinction of dinosaurs. Scientists believe that the asteroid snuck past the gravitational field of Jupiter and struck the Earth. The giant planet's powerful gravity also prevents space rocks from merging and forming a planet. This is the reason that our solar system today has an asteroid belt. It consists of hundreds and thousands of chunks of debris, and the gravity of Jupiter continues to alter the path of asteroids and sometimes push them towards the Sun. Without its size, Jupiter's gravity wouldn't have the strength to affect big asteroids and their orbits and asteroids and comets would have bullied the Earth. Looking back to 2009, we're reminded of the possible dangers of an impact strike. The date was July 19, 2009. An astronomer, Anthony Wesley, was photographing Jupiter in his backyard and something odd caught his eye. He noticed a dark blemish near Jupiter's south pole. At first, he thought it was another dark storm on Jupiter. It was an impact mark a debris field left by the impact indicating something had struck the giant planet. He also noticed that the blemish was turned towards the Earth. It could have fallen on the Earth in the absence of Jupiter. We're talking about 2,000 megatons of energy. There would have been serious regional devastation or a possible tsunami if it had hit the ocean. 
So, the question is, whether Jupiter is the protector of Earth or not? The answer is simply yes and no. There are times when Jupiter can be dangerous for the Earth. Because of its heavy gravitational mass, it has more gravitational influence. In this process, it can sometimes swing long-period comets, and, at times, it will also swing a meteorite from the asteroid belt towards the Earth. Even though it might not be the target, it can sometimes cause an impact. Usually, it's uncommon for a comet to come within one astronomical unit, that equals 150 million kilometers, or 8.3 light-years, of the Earth. In 1770, a comet named Lexel streaked past the Earth as close as a few million miles. It's notable for having passed closer to Earth than any other comet in recorded history, approaching a distance of only 0.015 astronomical units. Scientists observed the gravitational field of Jupiter had altered the comet's orbit. Therefore, it was directed towards the Earth, a near-miss least to say. After some analysis, astronomers found that the comet had come streaking in from the outer solar system three years earlier and passed close to Jupiter, which diverted it into a new orbit and straight towards the Earth. It was like Jupiter aimed at the Earth and missed it. So is Jupiter Earth's protector? The answer is sometimes yes and sometimes no. Do we need to be afraid of asteroids? The chances of a civilization-ending collision with a large asteroid or comet like the six-mile-wide asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs some 65 million years ago within our lifetimes are very small. On the flip side, the Earth is bombarded all the time by small asteroids that burn up or explode harmlessly in the atmosphere. Unless we can't figure out a way to cast them away, one day, a big enough asteroid may strike the Earth, and it would cause local or regional destruction, or worldwide climate change. It is not a matter of if, but of when it could happen. So at the end of the day, Jupiter plays a major role in the cycle of life. But what it might have for us in the future is not certain. It could happen 500 years from now, or it may take place next week. Fortunately, there are scientists studying how to make the Earth safer day by day. Fighting against the threat of asteroids, many people are involved in planetary defense. Most of the techniques proposed to avoid an Earth impact event are linked to altering the trajectory of an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Among various proposals, the one that currently looks more developed based on affordability and technology is the kinetic impactor, which changes the orbit of an asteroid by a direct hit with a spacecraft at a very high rate of speed. Researchers across the globe are working on these types of solutions to keep us safe.